Hey, good evening. We're looking at more wintry conditions on the way throughout the late afternoon, early evening hours tonight. And then all of a sudden we deal with maybe more record breaking cold weather on the way into early Wednesday morning. We'll take a look currently at our future track radar as we continue to deal with the small bursts of snowfall. We deal with snow for about five to 10 minutes and then we have some sunshine and we have another snow squall move in and we deal with some more sunshine behind that. So we deal with just some light snow, some isolated snow showers through the afternoon as we start to lose the daylight today. As the sun begins to set, we'll lose that energy in the atmosphere and then we'll actually clear skies out overnight tonight, which will help drop our overnight lows down into the mid teens yet again tonight. As we look at temperatures, we're still stuck in the mid to lower 20s in Rochester at 24 degrees. That's our loose and out of live camera. Those winds out of the west, a little breezy at 14 miles per hour. Current temperatures still in the mid 20s in Rochester, lower 30s in northeast Iowa, Mason City at 30 degrees, Charles City at 30 and then it's 29 in Zimbrota. So we set a record low temperature for last night into this morning for April 14th. We hit a low temperature this morning of 14 degrees. That beats the previous record set back in 1962. Now, Rochester wasn't the only place to set some records. We set a cold high temperature record yesterday for April 13th, meaning that's the coldest high temperature we've ever recorded since we've been keeping track of data. Rochester only had a high of 30 degrees. That tied the previous record. Preston set a record for a cold high temperature yesterday as well for 34 degrees. Then several places set some uh, overnight lows records. Rochester, Cresco, and into Winona. Now our high temperature so far today has only been 25 degrees. That would be another cold high record in Rochester. So future track here throughout the next several hours we continue to deal with some light snow. Notice as the sun sets will clear skies out. Now future track only has us into the lower 20s. Normally this time of year when we have a snowpack and clear skies, model guidance doesn't handle that very well. I do think we end up having cooling tonight, dropping those temperatures down into the mid to lower teens. Tomorrow we warm temperatures back into the upper 20s by the late lunch hour. We could deal with a couple flurry chances and not as widespread as we have today. High temperatures back into the upper 20s to lower 30s. As we head towards Thursday, still dealing with cold temperatures. We're only in the upper 30s for highs. Your forecast for tonight, 13 for the overnight low. That would be a record breaker for tomorrow morning. Winds out of the west, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, 35 for the high. It's slightly warmer, mostly sunny. We'll see some quiet conditions with some isolated flurries. This week is is severe weather awareness week. Obviously, it does not look like spring outside, but spring type weather will be right around the corner with some thunderstorms. Today, we're focusing on severe storms. We'll have a post up on social media and on our website, KTTC.com, uh, detailing some hail, some lightning facts, and wind facts as well. And then this Thursday, we have our KTTC special project tornado. That's airing at 6.30 on Thursday. That's after our 6 p.m. broadcast. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. 38 degrees for the high Thursday, 43 on Friday. Then we're back to the 50s and maybe, Caitlin, even the 60s on the way by next week. So hopefully we're back to some spring-like temperatures coming up next week. That does it for your weather authority forecast. Caitlin, back to you.